Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Curl back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot discussion slash news video. Now, today we just got some new news for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and I just want to discuss it with you guys in this video. But before we get into today's video, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, to join the realm and also Ocean Instinct those notifications so you won't miss out on the video. With all that being said, y'all, let's get it. All right, we back. Here are the trophies and stuff that has been, you know, released to the public for um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And these are some of the trophies that you can get um, within Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It's a total of 42 trophies. Let me digress real quick. I do want to talk about more than Mirror and Toy in this video, but that's mainly what we're going to be talking about in this video. But I just want to let you guys know that here's some of the things that you can um, get in Kakarot. We're going to focus on this trophy right here. Before I even, you know, read the title and whatnot i mean you guys can go ahead and read it but you guys remember when i released that video dragon ball z battle gods and dragon ball z kakarot if they don't like add any like super content or you know battle gods or like super i was just saying that like bro like it has to be some type of original story because it's they setting it up for that I'm not saying I'm not confirming anything or anything in that nature, but this will be a good opportunity for them to do an original story. And I can definitely see that in uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot because, I mean, they already have Banya. Banya is a original character. They can really get creative with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and definitely um, distinguish themselves from all the other Dragon Ball Z games. With all that being said, y'all... <laughs> This trophy right here, this trophy right here, y'all, down with the demon realm, win the battle against Mira. Now, you guys know, if you guys played the Xenoverse franchise, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, or Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, you guys know, you guys know about Mira and Toy Man, and they, they're like a package. They, they come together. You, you, you get one, you gotta have the other. With that being said, Mira's gonna be in Dragon Ball Z Kak right now. That's crazy. That's crazy, yo. Like, the possibilities that they can do, man, like, with the story and, you know, to tie it, everything together and stuff. I think this is gonna be dope, man. Um, but yeah, Mirrors from Dragon Ball Z Universe um, franchise, and it seems like Mirrors gonna be in Dragon Ball Z Kak right now. This, now this is a this is a trophy. I, I can't I can't make this up. And then if we go on Twitter here, um, shout out to the boy King Zaro. If you guys haven't followed my guy on Twitter, go ahead and show some love. Has that core around me in his uh tweets comments man get a boy a follow because he supplies us a lot with um and keeps us updated with dragon ball z kakarot content so shout out to him even he said it's official mira and tor are going to be in dragon ball z kakarot now we just looked at the trophy lily so that's crazy yo just so excited man that's what i was just saying bro like if they don't add that i it has to be an original story number one that, that was my first take um if super wasn't confirmed in dragon ball z kakarot or gt bro is either one of the two like it, i i can't see like what else could they do i mean they could go back and you know what I'm saying cover some of dragon ball but like that was like my third choice but my first two i was really um betting on those two being um in kakarai so i'm not confirming anything as far as like you know they're gonna make up an original story who knows but what this what I will tell you, Mira and Toa are going to be in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And as far as another reliable source as well, if we go over here to, um, give me a quick second here. Go over here to Geekdom, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the boy Geekdom, uh, does great content. So definitely go get my boy a follow. Um, trophies for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot are being revealed now. Remember a few months back, I talked about two interesting surprise characters in Kakarot. Well, I can say it now. It's Mira and Toa. Now, let me like that. <laughs> that I think that's just so dope, man. Like, yo, that's crazy. Yo, I mean, just just imagine, man. Like, we so close to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot being released, and it's just so dope. Now, another thing I want to touch on here. Now that we got that out of the way, I might revisit that uh, new screenshots here. 
I don't buy you. <laughs> the thickness is real. I really wanted to touch on this um tweet and these screenshots here, guys. Um, shout out to the boy Dragon Ball Hype. He's another reliable sourcing. Keeps the Dragon Ball community updated with Dragon Ball Z Kakarai. So go check him out. Dragon Ball Hype. Yo, I really love the art. Yo, I love the aestheticness. Uh, see, I'm I'm all about art, man. Like I just love the aestheticness of things and the high quality of stuff so yo looking at this it's just i i love the art style that they chose for this game man like i don't think they could have picked a better one man and i really just like like the this wallpaper and you know how they branded dragon ball z kakarot nonetheless let's um look at the patch notes now these are the patch notes that we have gotten for dragon ball z kakarot and you probably thinking or you know what i'm saying asking me coral they got patch notes and the game ain't even came out yet. Now that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, yo, I'm just as surprised and astonished as you are, man. Like, before I even get into these notes, man, I was uh in um Smokey Summer stream yesterday, and I was just saying, man, like, they don't even update a game until it comes out. And even if they do, it's two to three weeks plus, bro. So that's saying a lot, man, because I'm just saying, I'm just bringing other games. I'm, bring, I'm bringing third-party information to back up what I'm saying, man. Like, if you guys look at, y'all remember when Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 came out, bro? Bro, don't you know they took a year to add spectator mode in? That's, and then look at Jump, look at, <laughs> look at Jump Force. Jump Force, I don't, I don't know how long it took them to add the, rem the rematch option in. But bro, they took so long to add a simple rematch option in the game. So like, this is saying a lot, man. The game haven't even came out. They let four testers play this game and they already catering to the bugs and glitches this in this game. They already updating it. And that's just saying a lot about this game. That just shows that they really care about this game and they really want this the game to do really well when it comes out. So that's just say a lot, man. And yeah, CC2, they know what they're doing. So with all that being said, let's actually get into the patch notes. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot update 1.01 and 1.02 patch notes. Version 1.01 system features related to bonuses version 1.2 i said 1.2 1.02 my bad improve loading times self-explanatory i don't gotta break that down even simpler than what it already is improve loading times is exactly what it says made it possible to travel directly to korean tower summit and capsule corporation for the world map i think that's pretty dope to have in dragon ball z character right i really do and you know because you don't want to fly all the way over to um castle corp corporation you know what i'm saying if you're on the other side of the map that could take way too long especially like you gotta go back to the crib or go back to the house um to get chi chi to cook up uh, a meal for you because i know she she's not gonna be with you obviously so she's just gonna be chilling at the house so if you need to go back to Chi Chi's house and you know what I'm saying, get that meal uh, made and you know what I'm saying, get those stat boosts. Now, here's my question, y'all. Like, I'm just thinking, like, what is the animation gonna look like? You know, I feel like this would be a good way for you to use instant transmission and like the open round aspect. I'm talking about like as far as the animation, if you're trying to like fast travel to capsule corporation and the korean tower summit like that'd be like dope you know what i'm saying he just uh <laughs> he just appears there i think that'd be pretty dope to add that in who knows who knows what it might be i don't, I don't know i just thought you know i'd bring that up added sub stories you know side question things like that adjusted the interest fee of the time attacks made other adjustments Total size of both updates combined is about 11 gigabytes on PS4. So this is probably going to be added to the gigabytes that's already been put out there because this game is going to be 40 gigabytes. Now, this is a lot of content that's going to be in the game as well. Like, yeah, like most games, they starting out at like 50 gigabytes and up. But still, though, for a Dragon Ball Z game, bro, 
that's a lot of gigabytes because if we even go here on um what we have here is the system requirements it's going to be for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot on Steam. It's going to be 40 gigabytes of space, man. So that's a lot of gigabytes. Then you add the 11 gigabytes on it, man. It's going to be like 51 gigabytes, bro. Here's all the um, recommended system settings that you'll need to, you know, run it pretty smoothly on PC. Now, I personally should be able to run this game fairly smooth. My processor and my gigabytes of RAM are pretty much overkill for this game. So I pretty much should be able to run this game fairly smoothly. My only thing is I, I do have to do a bit of testing because I'm gonna be live streaming the game as well. You know, while playing it in max settings. But I should I should be okay. I should be okay. But we'll see this is coming Friday, coming Thursday. Also, here's another thing I want to touch on guys um it's pretty dope it's pretty dope i actually came up with some money to go ahead and pre-order this game on pc it says coming january 16th this thursday that's not friday bro pc players are getting to play this game early now this this hey this is dope this that's so dope man and Yo, that, I get to play the game a, a day early, y'all. And it still comes out on Friday for um, console players, if you're wondering. Did you pre-order this game on PC or console? Let me know down below in the comments what you pre-ordered this game on or what you're getting this game on, console or PC. Let me know down below in the comments. I personally want to get this game on you know, PC because I want to mix out the settings like... I play I play Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order in 144 hertz, bro. Like I'm trying to like, hey, I'm trying to really, really grasp that Dragon Ball experience and you know be able to live in the anime, man. Like I just think this is gonna be so dope. I also wanted to ask you guys another question real quick before we get out of here. Which version of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot did you guys pre-order or that you're going to get? Are you going to get the standard edition, the deluxe edition, or the ultimate edition. I personally got the um deluxe edition. Like I would have gotten the ultimate edition, but me personally, I like I said, I, I, I didn't want to buy it on console. And also, like I'm trying to have my game. I'm trying to like soon, soon it's time for me to play. I'm trying to play the game, bro. Like I'm not trying to go up there to GameStop or something like that and be waiting in a long line. I'm not trying to do that, bro. So. Hey, <laughs> I'm sounding like soon. I'm talking about soon. The timer is up. Like, I'm trying to play the game, y'all. So, I'm trying to be already set. It's just me personally, but it would have been nice to get that Ultimate Edition and get the uh, nice figurine, nice action um, figure. Stuff like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Do an unboxing video. But I had to do it for the coach. Yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Hopefully, you, you know, find it informative and entertaining as well if you enjoyed the vibes of the video make sure you like the video of course and share the video with your homie so you know what i'm saying they can see the passion of saying that the developers of this game really care about this game i'm telling you man like they don't they don't do updates until like two to three weeks plus prior so that this screams this screams that they care about this game and they want to execute on it because i was just saying like look y'all about to get me going i was just saying that i think they should have a demo for this game because the reason why i want us to have a demo so like we could see like what the game is all about you know because looking at it and playing it is totally two different things and also so we can discover some of the bugs and glitches in the game so they can fix it it looks like it wasn't no need to have a demo obviously it was already a demo out but it just wasn't released to the public so they just allowed the four beta testers to go ahead and hop in and play the game and you know what i'm saying get us this information so that the developers can update and fix the bugs and glitches within the game so definitely share the video and if you are new to the channel considering hitting that subscribe button and also ultra instinct those notifications so with dragon ball z kakarot you get the notifications in your inbox so you can you know what i'm saying tune in to the live stream of video as soon as it drops with all that being said y'all i'm gonna get out of here guys and i'm gonna instant transmission to my next video